But, and you, so when you do do that way and you started to really mixing these two energy into one right. and it started to form to another body uh -huh. and we call you inject a seed of the soul or the spirit into the into the um, the immortal energy the the, the, the jing energy it give life to the another body that means we grow the soul and the spirit can you feel this happening inside you yes what do you feel mm -hmm. Uh, you, when you turn in your mind in, you feel another life within life. You feel a life, life growing inside uh, you. Within the life, yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And you can feel them, you can actually aware of it, and it will happen inside you. So after you grow this body, then what happens after this experience? So we call, you transfer the consciousness, you transfer your awareness into it. So like a, a, a piece of, of wood, if you burn them, it turns to be, to be heat. Right. But it, it disappears. Right. Okay. Now, in physically, we cannot do anything, but when you turn it into chi, yeah. you can transform, and you uh -huh. can take that. Uh huh. You, you take see? the chi. You can take it. Like if you turn your heart is physically, but when you turn your heart to a pure love, uh -huh. it become another energy. Uh -huh. But the energy, if you don't do anything, it disperses. Uh -huh. But if you have a container, you put it in, it stay. Uh -huh. So that's why you need to build a body first, and when you have love, joy, happy, whatever you have. You want to store them, you can put in the body. And then, of course, you have to, you have, to have the emotional connection there. Right. Mm -hmm. But once you have this immortal body, let's say it grows, mm -hmm. then, then what, what, is, what's the, what do we do with this human experience? The whole thing is that we call the immortal body, you transfer whatever the physical thing to another body. And when you want to leave the world, you take whatever you transfer and left. You so leave body, your body, you yeah. transform the body right. into life. Another, another body. Right. And your consciousness also go into that body. Right. So that body is not dying, but this right. body are dying. Right. So you have to change the dying one into the one not dying, mm -hmm. and you can tear it out. So oftentimes in the Tama when they practice to a level, when they left the world, sometimes the body shrink down half of it because they take out a lot of things. Uh -huh. That's the same thing like Jesus practice. Well, after he died for three days, mm -hmm. his body dissolved and disappeared. Right, yeah. right. So how long does it take to build the immortal body? Like someone like who's been practicing? Actually, actually three years, uh, you, you do in the first three years, uh, you started to uh, prepare it. And when you get pregnant, we don't know when. You get pregnant with your own yeah. immortal seed. Nobody knows when. Yes. But when you keep on doing that, one day you get pregnant. Okay. Are, are you pregnant? <laughs> yeah. A man pregnant sometimes not very good, huh? Okay. Now, when you get pregnant, you need to feed them or nurture them three years. Three years. And you need another 18 years to grow them. Wow. Yeah. And that's what the level of Jesus is doing. Isn't Jesus, it? Jesus disappeared for 18 years. Right. Okay. And uh, and that is what he tried to develop his own immortal body. And he did. He yeah. left. And so the mm -hmm. Taoist masters. Right. Are you okay with time? No. <laughs> the Taoist yeah. masters were able to do this and then yeah. leave with their immortal body. Right. So this is the ultimate practice of cultivating the sexual energy. Right. Mm -hmm. I see. So how do you do you ever ejaculate though? I mean, or is, oh yeah, sometimes. I mean, I have children, but right. uh, that is what ejaculation. But, but uh, if not, I'm not ejaculation. You're not just mm -hmm. for the children. So yeah. you 